Welcome back to the Surround Sound Podcast. I am your host, R. Hunter Jr., the truth and not a rumor. And this is Baseball 101. As I often say, during the summer, things slow down a bit as far as the sports world goes. And, and I mean, just like every year, entertainment just comes in to fill that gap. So I hope you like the entertainment news section. Uh, but... Let's get to baseball one-on-one. Major League Baseball, Chicago White Sox at 38-52. and 52. They're on a four-game losing streak, and they're nine and a half back and in last place in the AL Central. Plus a big trade involving Jose Quintana with crosstown rival uh, Chicago Cubs. We'll get to that in just a minute. Uh, next up, in next to last place, the Detroit Tigers. And speaking of trades and trade rumors, Justin Upton and J.D. Martinez have both – been the center of trade speculation. And this just in, J.D. Martinez was traded to the Arizona Diamondbacks for uh, for about three three prospects. So um, we're, we're hopefully that, that works out well for the Diamondbacks and the Detroit Tigers. Uh, also, as far as trade speculation goes, Alex Avila, the catcher of the Detroit Tigers, was also in the mix with the same Chicago Cubs. Regardless, though, the Tigers are six games behind AO Central leading Cleveland Indians, and the Indians are 42. Uh-oh, no, the Tigers are 42 and 49. Big shouts out to the Atlanta Braves. ATL is creeping toward 500. They're 45 and 46, not cellar dwellers, how I predicted them to be this year. They're 10 and a half games behind the charging Washington Nationals, but it's still good enough for second place in the NL East. Once again, big shouts out to ATL. Now to my beloved Chicago Cubs. The Cubs are 47 and 45. They're a couple of games behind the, the Milwaukee Brewers. Actually, they just beat the Brewers, uh, I want to say, uh, a couple of nights ago. They're on a four-game winning streak after the All-Star break. President Theo Epstein. Now, Epstein said before the break that the, there would be no, no major changes. No major changes would come within the Cubs. Uh, they would have to. It would have to come from inside. They would have to, you know, in order to compete for another championship. Well, last week, the Cubs pulled the trigger on a trade, giving them another good arm in Jose Quintana. And they sent a couple of A-ball, nice minor league prospects to the Chicago White Sox and have been flirting with the Tigers and catcher Avila, like I mentioned earlier. Regardless, it looks like skipper Joe Madden is pushing the buttons once again at just the right time. Now on to Tim Tebow. Tebow is freaking incredible. He's just been called up to, to the St. Louis Mets, which is high A ball. And through 16 games, he has three home runs, 10 RBIs, a batting average of 327, and an OPS of 972. It's Tebow time, y'all. I, of course, I mean, I, I'm a realist. I don't think he can make it to the major leagues. However, it's definitely in the realm of possibility for him to get to AAA. Even if it's just in stints. If he's doing this well in high single A, then he can definitely be, definitely be serviceable, I mean more than serviceable, in double A. And, there, and if, if he gets to double A, then they're definitely going to give him a chance in triple A. Once again, even if it's just in stints. And you know what? The next song is by Stolly, Samson, and Tim Tebow. <laughs> it's Samson to me. Anyway, we'll be back with more. Sign of the Times, Jay-Z, Return of Prominence, and What Does It Mean?